All right, so the next step in the process to uh, building this 40 by 40 shop out here is uh, getting this garage out of the way. So to accomplish that, I'm gonna lift it up and I'm gonna build a wooden floor, like basically just a big deck on these big timbers. And I'm gonna just lift the garage up and set it on this floor. Then I'll be able to drag it around. So I just did some measuring. The garage is pretty well cleaned out. A little bit more stuff to move. So I'm gonna do some measuring, lay these out, start cutting and uh, start framing. So since this is all rough cut lumber, I'll have to uh, get these ends squared up. So this is how these are going to sit on top of here, but I want to notch into this so this sits down a little lower. And I want to take a notch out of the beam too so they kind of interlock together. I'm only probably going to take an inch out of both, but I think that'll make it uh, really solid. I just got this first joist notched. So that's how it's going to sit on the beam. Obviously it's not level right now. But these beams are going to be eight feet apart and it's just going to be they're going to meet in the middle there so that's why that one's only cut halfway and then that'll be how far it hangs over the sides so that's kind of what it's going to look like those are the two eight by eights then they'll be joists all the way along and then i'm going to put one inch boards for the floor like that so i've got all the uh spots for the joists laid out I got all the uh, spots for the joist notched out. That turned out pretty good. And I am impressed with that Milwaukee skill saw. This is like the first actual test I've got to actually put some cuts through or so. That's good. There, that's a good uh, representation of there what that's gonna look like. And that'll be so much stronger having that notched in like that instead of just toenail it on top of the beam. And I kind of need it to be solid because that whole garage is going to be on top of it. And I'm going to try and drag it around. So this should work out, hopefully. All right, so this is what we ended up getting done last weekend. Here it is Saturday again, and I'm just about to get ready to uh, start putting all these deck boards on. But before I do that, I have to bolt these beams together. These beams are only 16 feet long, and the total is 24 foot long. So this is where the joint is, right here. And I wanted to notch them out so they would kind of interlock in between each other but i didn't take into account that the total length would be here instead of here and then the beams didn't end up being long enough so i had to put that piece back in and then i just put a piece on either side and drilled through and bolted them so i've already got two holes drilled and two bolts in in this side and i've got two more to do and then the other splice is over there but check out this drill that i got i just borrowed this drill i didn't buy it but uh I'm not sure what you call that, like a right angle drive. 
I did use this. It works, but it's slow. But this should be way faster. Yeah, that's awesome. Those other ones took me probably five minutes each with that other spade bit, but. Well, that was easy. So I'm not sure what happened with the GoPro, but any footage that we recorded after lunch didn't end up getting saved onto the memory card somehow, the file corrupted. But here we are lifting up the garage. It didn't want to come off the anchor bolts at first, so I kept having to lift up and put it back down, but it finally popped off and we got it lifted up. But uh, good thing we had this drone footage or we would have been SOL. But anyways, it turned out pretty good.
Well, there it is. Well, that went pretty well yesterday. That was a lot of work, but the skid steer and the big Kubota tractor lifted that up. Took a bit of wiggling around to get it to actually lift off these anchor bolts, but lifted it up, got that floor slid under and positioned it, let it down and drag her back to the backyard. Went pretty smoothly, had one little snag with that maple tree. I thought it'd fit in between there, but it didn't. So maple tree had to go. That's all right, it was kind in the way anyways. I felt like I was always working around it no matter what I did. So I'm sure it'll be nice to just have the open space. And here's where it ended up. It survived the trip pretty good. A little bit of bent steel here and there, but not too bad overall. A little bit of damage up there from the tree, but siding got dented up a little bit here and there, but it's funny seeing a wood floor in that garage now. That was a heavy sucker though. Here's what she looks like inside now. Looks like an old barn. It's kind of neat. It smells good too with the fresh lumber. It was weird waking up today and there not being a garage over there. I'm looking out in the backyard and there's the garage over here. Well, that went good. So the next step will be getting the hole dug for the new garage and getting that old concrete out of there. So I gotta grease both machines and I'll get started on that. <laughs> 